Just a half hour up the highway from Itty Bitty Farms is Craters of the Moon National Monument, so we hit the road early and headed out. Our first stop was the Visitor's Center. We pointed out where we were from on the visitor's map, then checked out some of the exhibits in the visitor center. There was some good information about the unique geology of Craters of the Moon, the lava fields it contains, and the Great Rift of Idaho that created it. There was also some information about the first peoples of the area a large relief map of the monument, and information about the wildlife that could be found there. Yellow-bellied marmot. After leaving the visitor center, we headed past the campground, which I had considered staying out prior to Itty Bitty Farms and we went out onto the seven mile main loop road to check out some of the alien looking scenery and maybe do a walking path or two. It was still early in the day and relatively cool despite being in a heat wave. So we settled on doing the caves path hike out across the lava field to the Indian tunnel. In order to protect the bats that are in the caves, entry into any of the caves requires you to get a free permit at the visitor center, where they just make sure you aren't wearing any clothing that you've previously worn into any other caves. The paved path is an easy walk through the lava field and offers great views and signs about the various lava rock formations. Indian Tunnel is a pretty easy 800 foot long hike through a lava tube. There is a staircase at the entrance to help you get down into the tunnel, and flashlights aren't really needed as there is plenty of openings in the ceiling that let in natural light. There is this one fairly dark section, but a cell phone camera light is good enough to help you navigate. There is no developed path inside the tunnel, so hiking through it requires a lot of clambering up and over rocks. And good footwear is a must as some of the rocks in the cave are very sharp.
There are plenty of little cubby holes and side caves and tunnels and things to explore, but the main tunnel is very big and wide, and there's really no chance of getting lost. Check, check, you going in? Watch, watch your back. There are like spiky rocks hanging wow. down. Crouch down and look in there, Kira. We came down to check out the cubby hole. Howdy. Wow. Once we reached the far end, we climbed back out onto the lava field and then followed the markers back to the entrance in the paved path. The walk out across the lava field is a little treacherous because there's some holes and crevasses and things that you have to navigate around. Well, it was really cool seeing the otherworldly formations but we had a long way to go yet, so we bid farewell to Craters of the Moon and headed back out onto the road on our way to Blackfoot, Idaho and the Potato Museum. But we'll cover that in the next video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see when that video comes out. And thanks for watching.